five. Okay. Hello, lucky number seven. Does yours still say seven? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Oh, shoot, now I can hear myself. Hello, lucky... There we go. That's never a good thing when I hear myself. I just... My voice is just... Uh, I don't know how you guys handle it. That's all I'm going to say. My voice is shrilling. Is that a good adjective to describe it? Is that a word, actually? I'm not even sure if that's a word. Okay. It just still says seven waiting, but... Hopefully you're not waiting. Can you guys hear me? Oh! Okay, Matt says he can hear us. Good. Oh, there's 15. We doubled. Just so everyone knows, Lincoln is down here sleeping. Very, uh, he looks very cuddly right now. It's a little warm down here. I don't know. We're getting central AC soon. I don't know. This house was built, like, in the 60s and we moved in. They hadn't done a lot of updating, so there's a lot of work to do. Although, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, I got my new, my new countertop. And uh, we got new, getting a new AC because right now we've got like the window units upstairs. And finally, actually, Ike has been so warm since the weather changed. So I was able to convince cameraman to get a new AC because Ike was hot. Not to mention I'm hot because it's warm down here. Okay. Okay, everyone can hear me. Lovely Minnesota accent. I like that. Oh, we got North Carolina. Oh, you guys are sweet. You guys don't mind my voice. I'll take that. Because anytime I hear it, it's like I can't handle I need to get away. But, man, I think maybe it's just the camera lights that are so warm. Or just me. But, anyway. Okay, so there is a link. Let me double check. There should be a link. Yes. And, you guys, I've got some interesting resources up here on things I'm going to discuss. And uh, just different articles, published research about supplements and vitamins because it is a giant market and there's some really big players in there and they're expecting this market to grow like 10% in the next year. And the global market is like billions. Well, they say the U.S. vitamin and supplement market is $122 billion and the global beauty supplement industry is worth $4 billion. And it appears to be growing at an estimated 10% by 2021, which is crazy to me. That's serious money. Although we probably burnt like $2 billion worth of stuff in Minnesota in the last couple days. So, I don't know. I guess that money can go really fast. There we go. We got a little fan. Oh, I feel so good. I'm always warm. I don't know why. But anyway, so I've got a lot to talk about. So the most interesting thing, I think, with these beauty supplements is the fact that they're highly unregulated. There really isn't any checks, and vitamins in and of themselves, really, there's not a lot of checks. The FDA doesn't do much with them at all, which to me is a little concerning, especially since there's been some interesting things that have happened with some of these supplements, especially like biotin is a big one out there, which can really have some interactions with a lot of lab results. So if you're taking by it and just be aware of that. And the other thing, in my opinion, I think there's so many skincare products that one can work great for 99 out of 100 people and that one out of 100 it just won't work for. I have a feeling a lot of the supplements are the same things that, you know, somebody can take one of these, you know, you could have 100 people drinking this collagen and notice nothing, but then there can be one person that said my hair grew an extra four feet since I started drinking it. And then a lot of that I think has to do with what you're deficient in and you might not even know it. So sometimes people are deficient in biotin, although it's really relatively rare. But when you read some of the comments on some of these supplement reviews, you can have, you know, 15 people say it worked amazing for them. But I have to wonder if maybe some of those people are, uh, kind of having a placebo effect, I want to say, because I think sometimes when you're using something that you're spending money on, like this one, I think I got the Detox Market. They have a Detox subscription box. I got a huge thing from this brand. I think I even have more. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. I got them all in a box. Obviously, you can tell I didn't use them. But if you're 
if you're deficient in something and this is suddenly giving you what you vitamins and minerals you're lacking and you can probably notice an overall boost in health but a lot of them aren't regulated they aren't checked some of the unknown names there can be toxic ingredients in some of them they've noticed in some of these college not collagen these protein powders that some of the um, weightlifters drink they notice things like arsenic and heavy metals in there so it's important to keep in mind where you're buying them from uh, what brand it is if they're established just do your research before you ingest anything I just there's so much money to be made and I don't know on this table I've got a few of these that I take myself which I'll talk about but I don't, some of these companies I've never heard of so just do your due diligence Especially, you don't know where they're made. They could be made anywhere. So just do your due diligence before you ingest anything, just as you would before you put it on your skin. So it's interesting. So pretty much most of these I've gotten through subscription boxes. I would say there's probably a couple of these that I bought myself. But Hub Nutrition, they're a big player. I, all, most of these I got in a subscription box except for... Maybe I'll set them aside, the ones that I actually bought myself. This one, this one, this one. Okay, so these are the ones I actually bought myself. One more, okay. Which is a lot more than I actually thought. Although I'm not taking them all at the same time, so. Anyway, okay. So we talked about the FDA and how they don't really monitor much of this. The in interesting thing is it seems like a lot of brands now want to get into this industry now. Tula, it's a big skincare brand. RMS, uh, Brigio, the hair company, Alginus, Dr. Brandt, and Murad all have supplements, and that's just to name a few. Um, even longer established companies like Paula's Choice and Bobby Brown are getting into this industry. Bobby Brown has a supplement brand. It's called Evolution 18. I haven't tried anything from it, but she sold Bobby Brown Cosmetics. So now she's uh, maybe bored or just wants to become a part of a huge industry. So $4 billion globally is huge. So everyone's trying to get in into this. Um, so the biggest players currently in this industry are Amway, which I had no idea at all that they were in. I guess I don't shop at Amway at all. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't know much about them, but apparently they've got a lot of uh, supplements. Beauty Scoop is another one. Hum Nutrition is huge. They are in all of these beauty boxes. Hum Nutrition, Hum Nutrition. I mean... These are all just ones I've gotten for free in the few beauty boxes I subscribe to, and it's not a ton. So these are all freebies that I got from Hub Nutrition. Uh, Pfizer, the drug company Pfizer, is selling them through the brand Imodine. I haven't tried anything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I haven't tried anything from them. Another brand, My Majay Holdings is another one. Murad is on this list, which I find interesting. I haven't got any Murad supplements at all through any of my beauty boxes, so that's interesting. But when you Google beauty supplements, Murad comes up right away. Then we've got Neocell Corporation, Reservage Nutrition, the Media, and then Viabotics. Viabotics. So those are the big players right now. I have a feeling next year this list will be totally different. But those are the biggest players right now. Um, the, there's currently supplements for so many different things. Long hair, stronger and longer nails, better looking teeth. Can you take a supplement to have better looking teeth? Maybe calcium? I, I don't know. But I need to find that one. <laughs> for anti-aging and preventing wrinkles, supplements, another huge uh, portion of this is supplements for a fake tan which contain tons of beta carotene which to be honest I would try that I want a fake tan but when you read the reviews of so many of them they just sound kind of scammy so beta carotene supplements to help prevent breakouts and acne which some of those have proven studies that they work the rest are snake oil 
kiwi seed vitamins to prevent acne doesn't that's just made up in my opinion but there are some that will help and are proven to help so i'll talk about those as well supplements just for glowing skin supplements for your beauty sleep which is contain melatonin and things like that so there's supplements for i mean you can make up almost anything and there would be a supplement for it for the teeth thing i still can't it must be calcium anyway that surprised me i'm gonna have to do more research about that so anyway and then uh one more thing that i just want to keep in mind as we discuss all of the all of this topic nothing of the none of these are regulated by the FDA because of that anything they advertise for the results are just marketing they really don't have to prove it because it's not really regulated at all um, another issue about supplements is they might not contain really what they're labeled as so you might say they contain 80 milligrams of zinc but some of them have been shown to have ridiculously high amounts and be way over medic over medicating over way over the advertised amount some of them have way less or sometimes some of them don't even have any of it so you really have to keep keep that in mind and really do your research before you start taking something especially if you're on any other prescriptions for anything else because some of these can really interfere hugely with other things especially biotin so and then one other thing is a lot of the supplements they just contain popular modified versions of what a vitamin contains some of them just contain vitamin c vitamin e vitamin a zinc calcium magnesium most of those are in a multivitamin if you take that so if you take a multivitamin it's something else to be very cautious of because other things you take can also skew your numbers you can have with way too much zinc which can make you sick to your stomach and things like that so just be very cautious overall so it's interesting let's see the beauty chef this contains coconut water aloe vera powder lemon powder and then some probiotics which you could probably i don't know i'm guessing this is expensive since i didn't buy it i don't know but you can probably find all of that in a multivitamin and i don't know if you necessarily need coconut powder maybe it does something maybe it gives it the taste so anyway okay let me start reading if there's any comments oh paula's choice anniversary sale is disappointing oh you know what i was excited but i saw the paula's choice there it's like their 25th company anniversary today their big sale is 25 percent off anniversary kits and then it's just all these kits of stuff that maybe you just want one thing so that was, i was kind of bummed but i think they might have something different every day so i don't know i'm certainly gonna be on the lookout because I love a good sale. Oh, somebody from Toronto, Canada, and they want to know what I think of the Paula's Choice supplement. And when that first came out, I was very leery of it because Paula's Choice, first of all, since Paula from Paula's Choice sold the company, they've been releasing products like crazy, like just insane. I can't even keep up with it anymore. But I wanted to look at that supplement, and it looks like the things it actually contains are things that have some studies showing that they are effective so on this list i think they it contains hyaluronic acid which has been shown to be beneficial i think what else is in there they've got some ceramides which actually can be beneficial and then some good antioxidants were in that supplement so overall that supplement looks like overall the ingredients in there are ones that will actually help you with your skin especially if you have dry skin i think if you have normal hydrated skin you don't necessarily need hyaluronic acid or ceramides but the antioxidants are always good so that one overall looks pretty decent i would say oh what foundation am i wearing today i am wearing the dr jart gold premium beauty balm cream you know what i've been trying all these new sunscreens out so i find when I'm testing out a sunscreen, I really want to use the same foundation over all of them, so I'm judging them all equally. And I really like it, so let's see. Okay, Lakeville, Minnesota. Woohoo! We've got relatives down in Lakeville, so I like that. Thank goodness you're. Oh, cute top. I got this from Express probably like five years ago. <laughs> I'm not good with clothes. I spent all my money on beauty products, so I don't have any money for clothes. <laughs> it's pretty sad. But anyway, okay. 
Here's another comment. Exactly. Why never buy beauty vitamins? Lifestyle choices make the best difference. Exactly. If you have a good diet, that's going to be the biggest factor. Because a lot of these, if you have a good diet, they're just going to go down the drain, literally. So, But some, some populations are more susceptible. Like if you're a vegan or vegetarian, there's some of these that might actually be very, you might be missing in your diet, too. So... Oh, I'm, I'm excited, Matt said. Unrelated, but Inky List released hair care products at Cult Beauty. I'm excited. I saw all those, so I'm very excited for those. The Inky List is doing amazing. They're just releasing new products all the time, and it's amazing. I'm so excited. I can't not buy any of their stuff. So, okay. Let's see. Oskia. Is, am I saying that right? That brand Oskia MSM supplements are really good. I'm going to have to check those out. I think they just came out with a new sunscreen, which looks good. If I'm thinking of the same. Oh, Judy. Paul's Choice was sold to a bigger company. This is like three years ago, I think. Paul's Choice sold it to, it was just like an investor group. It wasn't even to like one of the big players, right? It was a hedge fund. It was a hedge fund, yeah. She sold it. She made a lot of money. But she's still the face of it, so she must be getting somehow dividends or a stock in the company still. Because she's still, her face is all over it. So they must have, when they sold the brand, or when she sold it, they must have pay her, like, to they keep, stay. yeah, to stay, kind of, to be the face of it. Because a lot of people didn't even know she wasn't still totally behind it. So, let's see. Okay. I'm definitely going to check out the Inky List hair care. I love the Inky List. So, oh, Seattle, Washington. Wales. Wow, that's amazing. Everyone from a lot of places. I, that's just amazing to me. Okay. Oh, Pepper. I like that name, Pepper. Can I use the CeraVe SA cleanser in the same routine as the Paul's Choice 2% BHA? I would say if you have normal to oily skin, you can get away with that. If you have dry skin, it might be a bit challenging. But if you have normal or oilier skin, I think you're going to be just fine. Especially since the, the salicylic acid on the cleanser is only on your skin for a few minutes. I think you'll be okay. So, Okay, so. Uh, actually, really, eh, I'll show you really quick what supplements I've tried. The hyaluronic acid. I got these from the vitamin shop. And hyaluronic acid is a very interesting supplement because they've really noticed... And they were doing studies of hyaluronic acid. And if you have dry skin, it can be a great supplement. If you have oily skin, you might not need it so much. But for all these all these older people that have had joint issues, knee replacements, uh, arthritis, and just joint issues overall, hyaluronic acid supplements actually did a huge thing to really help lubricate the joints better. So people that are getting knee replacements, I actually have a friend whose mom is getting a knee replacement as we speak. Hyaluronic acid can really help it heal faster with less pain, and it might be more effective than um, other pain things. So, what's up? Oh, you want me to show it? Push it back. Push it back. Back and forth. Can you see it over there? Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. So that one contains collagen and hyaluronic acid. Collagen is a little iffy, but if you have dry skin, hyaluronic acid might really be something worth considering. And if you have joint issues and things like that, it might be a double effective for your skin and your joints. So especially if you have some know someone that's getting a knee replacement, that can be huge. So something well worth considering. Ceramides. Those are another one. This is the... I don't know, I bought these all at the vitamin store. So I think the biggest thing when you're picking them up is just look where they're manufactured. And if they have other supplements, if they're in the market, I just think you're better off being far more cautious just because there's just a potential risk of contaminants in them, especially with just fly-by-night companies that might just be in it for a quick buck. You're better off being far safer than sorry. So... Ceramides are supplements that can really help the skin barrier. Uh, and they've shown in studies with people that have like atopic dermatitis, psoriasis, aged skin, typically have a dysfunctional skin barrier and dryness is associated with reduced levels of ceramides. So taking a ceramide supplement can really help 
prevent some of that, heal some of that, and just reduce the noticeable effects of it. Ceramides are in plants like rice, potato, sweet potato, konjac, and kidney beans. So ceramides, the ones that they're showing are the most effective are ones that are from plants as opposed to ones that are from animals. So you're better off getting ones from plants and checking the sources of them. Like this one is from photoceramides from rice bran, vegetable, and rosemary. So something else to consider. What is this? Zinc. Zinc is an interesting one. There's so many different forms of it. Keep that in mind. But zinc has been shown to be really effective for those that suffer from acne. And, and the zinc supplements have been shown more effective than topical zinc. Topical zinc doesn't have a lot of studies proving it can be really effective for breakouts and things like that. However, zinc supplements have been shown to be much more effective. Keep in mind that there's so many different types, so really do your research, because there's a bunch of different types of zinc. And the other thing is meat eaters tend to have normal levels of zinc, whereas vegetarians and vegans tend to have lower levels of zinc, and lower levels of zinc can be associated sometimes with breakouts and acne. So it might be something worth trying if, if that's an issue, breakouts and acne. It might be something worth trying, and zinc is also, you know, it's used for all these wellness things and preventing yourself from getting sick and things, so it might be something worth trying overall for your health and that, especially if you're a vegetarian or a vegan or don't eat a lot of meat, you could have reduced levels of zinc, so that's something else well worth considering, although keep in mind it's in a lot of other supplements, and you don't want to overdo it on the zinc because you'll get sick to your stomach. Or sometimes even when you start it, you can get nauseous and things. So starting out slowly is certainly important. How much? This one's got 15 milligrams. So I also, what's my other one? Oh, this is the one I take, Occuvite, because I had LASIK. They gave me like nine months of it. And this one just contains cholesterol, vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, copper, omega-3s. And I will say, I think it helped with my eyes healing from um, LASIK. Not 100% certain, but I don't know. Once my original supply of it ran out, I did repurchase it, so. I'm not a huge vitamin person, though. But you know, when I was little, my mom always made me take a multivitamin. And you know what, that thing tasted terrible. She always made me take it, I always had to take it with milk. But I'm glad she did, because I might be even more uh, short had I not taken it, so. The other one, HelioCare, Fern Block. Sorry, cameraman, he keeps having to focus in. This one actually has a ton of studies on it. Um, I first heard about the HelioCare and Fern Block probably about four years ago. And I purchased a bottle, and I didn't really notice anything different from it. So I kind of stopped taking it, and then about three or four months ago when I was starting to research sunscreens, I decided I would check out more of this and actually read published research on it. And this one actually has been shown to really help prevent and reduce UV damage. So fern block and then carotenoids are the other one. So um, there's evidence that shows carotenoids can help. That's like beta carotene, lutein and zeaxithin. Carotenoids can help the skin that was exposed to UV induced skin damage. And then fern block, which is the HelioCare, it's been shown to exhibit a strong anti-aging effect and is emerging as a protective supplement against sun damage. So for me, I don't take it every day, but if I know I'm going to be outside for a few hours, like I've been trying to walk a lot since all the gyms are closed. Even if the gyms reopen, I don't know if I want to go back yet, but I've been trying to walk outside at least five days a week. So if the sun is out, even if it's not, if I'm going to go for a two-hour walk, I take one of these. And I will say the one day I forgot, and I will say my arms got a little pink that day. That's all I know. But the studies on PubMed show that it's that their measurements and everything show that was effective. And it's not cheap, but overall, if you're outside a lot, I'd really recommend giving it a try. There's really nothing else in here other than the fern block. Let me double check. There's green tea, beta carotene, magnesium, and then the fern block. 
So certainly worth checking out, especially if you're outside a lot. So I was surprised because just hearing about it several years ago, I really didn't expect there to be that much research showing that it was actually effective. But it sounds like the real deal, especially with the beta carotenes and the carotenoids in there. Let's see. Let me give cameraman a break. Let's see. Sorry, do you not want to break? Tim says, if you want super nice skin from the inside out, colostrum, tallow, bone marrow, trachea, 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 and ex, yeah, exacts of the, <laughs> I can't say that, but it's the ex, astaxanthin, I'm giving it a whirl, that's my best pronunciation, astaxanthin, it's a good antioxidant, it's in some good skincare products as well, it's red, I think it comes from fish, I want to say, or salmon, so that's one worth checking out, it's just a good antioxidant overall. I, trachea, trachea, it looks like trachea, but I know it can't be, let's see. Oh, let's see. AHA supplements. I'm curious because I have arthritis. So I'll be asking my rheumatologist about this supplement because meds mess with my skin too. Yeah, if you have arthritis, I really think the uh, hyaluronic acid might be worth checking out. I do. And you know what? I'm going to start ask it up again. Doctor. What? Ask your doctor. A ask your doctor. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. But I play one on YouTube. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't even play one. But I've got so much education. If you add it all up together, I think I am a doctor. <laughs> Let's see. Extra zinc supplements hurt my stomach. Yeah. 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 The zinc thing, if you're deficient in it, it can be a lifesaver. But if you get too much zinc, you will be not happy. Your stomach will be very upset. Which I learned because the Occuvite has zinc in it. So one day I took the Occuvite and I took the zinc and I was nauseous all day. It was horrible. Thank God I didn't throw up, but it's not a good feeling overall. So let's see. What do I think about teas, like green teas and white teas instead of supplements? Green tea is great for you for so many things. Great antioxidant. I wish I liked green tea in and of itself. You know, there's like two years where I actually could drink green tea and it tasted fine. And now I'm back to black tea for some reason. I don't know. But green tea, it has a bit of an earthy taste to it. I wish I liked it more. But it can be great. I felt very healthy when I was using the drinking the green tea. I'll have to try the white tea, actually. But yeah, the green teas, good antioxidants, full of it. Very beneficial. Certainly worth. And you know what? Anytime you can eat something or drink something and take it, instead of taking a pill, you should do it. Just because I think your body absorbs more of it versus a pill, you're just better off. The more you can eat, the better you can eat, the more healthy it is, I think the better off. You're much better than taking a supplement overall. So, that's just that. Let's see. I love using the OM mushroom powder, the beauty one. Mushrooms are good for you too, so. I'm trying to think if any of these have mushrooms in them. I'm sure some of them do. Collagen powder. Collagen. Biotin. Let's talk about biotin. This says beauty starts from within. You can tell I'm big in this because I really haven't used most of it. Wow, it's a lot of hum. They're the big players. It seems like almost every skincare brand now has something. Jane Iredale. I mean, when I was looking up, it just seems like almost every skincare brand has a supplement out there. But I guess if it's you're talking about four billion dollars, you'd probably be not very smart if you didn't, I guess. And people are re re willing to pay for it. Here's a hair vitamin supplement. I, it doesn't say anything else. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure, or prevent any disease. I have a feeling all of these say that. Well. This is a little one. Sorry, that's upside down. The box is upside down. But LLC, this was made by an LLC. So a li limited liability corporation, which means if you take this and get sick and you want to sue them, you're kind of screwed. So that's something else to pay attention to. 
If you're not a big corporation, if you're an LLC, really, it's hard to sue them. That's what I'll say. So, might be better off going with a bigger company, just for something like this that you can ingest. Paracone, they've got something, so... Let's see. Omega fish oil hurts my stomach. Yeah, you know what? My dad was on that for a while, the Omega fish, and he got really bad acid reflux from it. But Omegas are supposed to be really good for your um, heart and all of your organs and your vessel, blood vessels and things like that. But some of them are really too fishy, I think, because my dad said he would get acid reflux and he would have, like, a fish taste in his mouth. So some of them, I think, now are getting to where they're making them with vegan ingredients, so that might be more gentle on your stomach. So, let's see. A few people on YouTube like Vital Proteins with collagen. My nutritionist recommended it to me for Crohn. She said the side effects are stomach upset. No thanks. The Vital Proteins brand, that brand is everywhere. They are huge. I mean, they're a big company. But I wonder what... Yeah, if you're going to get have an upset stomach, I don't want that. But they're a huge company. I think most of them, in general, I have a feeling most of these are just glorified vitamins in general. If there's a couple of ingredients that are exciting to you, I think you just pick them up in and of themselves. And then you don't have to get all the other stuff. And you can get them from a recommend, a, you know, an actual brand, like GNC. That's kind of what I think. I think you're better off that way because some of them are just just contain so much stuff and i think overall you're better off just picking a couple m ingredients you really want to focus on picking them up and using them instead of buying a giant company that's got lots of other stuff in them especially things from like small companies oh cameraman's going to show us his supplement this is what cameraman takes <laughs> That's the most giant bottle I've ever seen. Walmart brand. Walmart brand. <laughs> At least he takes a bite. You know what, though? The, the ingredients look pretty good overall. Vitamin A, vitamin C, 500 tablets. Ugh. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. There you go. What is that? That's like, that's like zero, 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 one cent a day. Because that's like two years worth right there almost. Let's see. Omega fish, yeah, we got that. I always have a hard time scrolling. I think there is a study about varicell collagen being beneficial to the skin. I think it was posted in PubMed. There was a couple things in PubMed I, about collagen. Collagen is naturally found in connective tissues in fish and animals. Collagen is a natural component of the skin, which gives it the plump or smooth appearance. And collagen slowly degrades as we age, which give us the fine lines. Collagen in and of itself makes up $300 million in U.S. supplement sales. That is huge, $300 million. And a recent study on PubMed showed that after 12 weeks of collagen tripeptides, skin showed increased elasticity. So maybe there is something to the collagen, this collagen powder. Collagen pills. See, I, the powder stuff, I'm never going to use because I don't... Something tells me it tastes bad. And can you mix it with a pop? I don't know. So I'd much rather take the pills, but that's just me. But I, I collagen, again, I have a feeling collagen, if you have a lot of normal levels of it, you might not notice as much benefits. But if you don't have a lot of collagen or meat or things like that in your diet, you are probably much more likely to be deficient in it than uh, other people that have a more healthy, balanced diet. So collagen might be something worth checking out. Again, I don't know. These, I think, I, I saw these at Whole Foods, so they might not be. This one also contains vitamin C, collagen from chicken, and collagen from bovine, which I think is a cow. So I think that might be interesting, unless you're a vegan or vegetarian. You probably don't want to take chicken or cow collagen so biotin is the other big one are any of these biotin supplements pro biogen that sounds like biotin that this one is uh this one's just probiotics 
One of these has to have biotin in them. That's like the most popular one. The Dr. Brandt one, this one has green tea, white tea, and grapeseed extract. So that one might be a good one. Some of the, one of these have to contain biotin. I can't believe that. This one's hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E. I guess I don't really have any biotin stuff, do I? I've got collagen, but not biotin. Probiotics, but anyway, so biotin. Oh, I bet this one does. Hair, skin, and nail supplement. Vitamin A. You know, see this one? It's got biotin in it, but this one, in my opinion, this one's a vitamin. With When I look at the ingredients, vitamin A, C, D, E, B1, B2, niacin, folic acid, biotin, calcium. This one's a multivitamin, but it's marketed to not look like a multivitamin, but everything else in here is really things you see in a multivitamin. I've got biotin. Oh, there you, that's why you have such long, beautiful hair and nails, right? That's right. Biotin is taken for nail strengthening, long hair growth, and better overall skin appearance. Biotin in general will only help if you're deficient in it, which is typically rather rare. Otherwise, if you take it, the rest will go down the drain. Biotin is found naturally in a lot of meats, hamburger, pork, fish, eggs, and dairy. The big thing with biotin is that people who take biotin they've been shown to have really inaccurate lab tests which is the biggest risk with taking biotin especially um there was a gal who felt sick she felt like she was having a heart attack went into the doctor she had a lab test showed no evidence of a heart heart attack or heart issues went home and died later that day and they, it was a direct result that biotin made that lab result totally incorrect and had she not been taking biotin or per perhaps said to the doctor, I'm taking these beauty supplements that contain biotin, she might be alive today. And she was actually a rather young person from what I recall. So that's one thing to be very cautious of. Very high amounts of biotin can really skew all of these lab results and tests. So keep that one in mind. And the FDA have actually seen a lot of uh, reports of inaccurate lab tests due to the increase in use of biotin supplements. Lincoln! I guess he's not going to say hi. Lincoln, come here! Duty, come here. Lincoln. There we go. Hi! I guess that's all we're going to get. I think he's tired. He's had a long day. There he goes. He's gone. That was Lincoln for the day. That's the only appearance you get. So, so biotin is... Uh, Probably the one I would be most cautious with. Collagen, again, naturally found in all those good eggs and fish and things like that. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is, in my opinion, from everything I've done preparing for today, the, the shining star in all of this. The fact that it can help with skin that's dry. The fact that it can help with joints and arthritis and other issues. I think hyaluronic acid is truly the shining star of all of this. I mean, you don't need kiwi seeds. Hyaluronic acid, though, can actually help other things. The kiwi seeds, I think, are kind of a scam, but when the gal, the YouTuber that introduced the kiwi seeds, I think she sold out of them all, like, within, like, the first day. Which I think, had people actually bought zinc instead of kiwi, they might have actually noticed some real benefits. But I think a placebo effect is a huge thing. Placebo, I mean, if you're spending all this money, you want to think it's helping. That's why you need the actual studies, people that have used tools to research it. That's why you really need proof. Because one person that thinks it might have helped. But you know what? If you think it helps and you believe it, I guess what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Unless you're going to pay for someone else's Lamborghini with a fake product. But... If you believe it works, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure we all kind of fall into that a little bit, so. It's interesting. My dad has a scotch that he loves, and it's kind of expensive. And with the lockdown, I really didn't want to go to the liquor store. So he'd have his first scotch, and then I would go out and get him a refill, and I would fill it up with a inferior scotch without telling him, and he never noticed. I know, if he's watching, <laughs> we're screwed, but 
that's how I got around having to go to the liquor store again because I didn't want to go with everything going on with this thing going on around. Yeah, the liquor store only carries like two bottles, so it's like I'd have to go there like once or twice a month, and I just didn't want to do that. So he didn't notice, and I think had he known I was giving him the inferior scotch, he would have noticed. Out of sight, out of mind. Maybe the first scotch, kind of, he doesn't really notice too much after that either. But anyway, so let's see. Oh, we got someone from Hawaii. Wow. Is there any, why is this called Hawaiian Asks Good Thin? Does anybody know that? Because <laughs> there was like three different ones. I'm like, well, I got to get the one from Hawaii, right? That's got to be better. And it says, Natural Hawaiian Ask Does it have pokey in it? I don't know. It says it's from Hematococcus pulvius microalgae. So maybe it's like a special Hawaiian blend. I don't know. But if I was going to pick one, it's going to be the Hawaiian one. So let's see. I wonder if Accutane is good for anti-aging. I, I don't know. But I know... You know, like the tretinin and all of those are good for anti-aging. And I think Accutane, you know what? It positively affects skin and helps with inflammation. So I think it probably can have a good effect. So it's bad for your organs, though, over time I do. Yeah, you know, I think Accutane can be dangerous. They really only like to use it in severe circumstances. But I do have a feeling it might help with anti-aging, but I don't know if I would... I don't know if the benefits outweigh the risks, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. So, zinc. Zinc is a huge one. Cartonoids, fern block can really help, especially if you're going to be outside. And I really do recommend the HelioCare. If you're someone that spends a lot of time outside, I certainly recommend it. Ceramides can really help with the skin barrier, especially if you have atopic dermatitis issues and psoriasis. You know, there's all those psoriasis pills, prescriptions now. I, 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 there's a commercial that I get in my head for it, but I can't even sing it. But there's like a top, it's like an oral pill that you take and it helps with psoriasis and eczema and things. So I have to think that maybe... Maybe there's some of these ingredients in that pill. And maybe that's why Pfizer is one of the top beauty supplement brands overall. Here's an interesting chart. I think I, this is the estimated market value of beauty supplements worldwide in 2016 and 2024. That is amazing how the market has grown. I mean, that's got to be at least double, almost triple. That's crazy. So the amount in 2016 is 3.5 billion just for the beauty supplements and in 2024 it's 6.8 billion. And the vitamin the vitamin overall is 122 billion dollars. So that's a crazy little chart there. And then there's a lot of other um other antioxidants and supplements. Obviously, vitamin C is a great one for skin and overall health. Although, anytime I take a vitamin C, my mouth always gets, like, sores. I don't know why. I always get canker sores from vitamin C anytime I have too much of it. But it's in a lot of these. I think the hum one contains it, the gummies. You know, I'm much more likely to take a vitamin if it's a gummy. I don't know why, if that makes me, like, childish, but I am... Highly more likely to take if it's like a chewable thing. And there's something else that had vitamin C in it, but. Oh, is this? Like liposphyric vitamin C, which is vitamin C and sodium overall. Purified water, citric acid. I wonder if these are vit. You can tell how into these I am because I haven't. Oh, it's like a thing that goes into your water. Vitamin C is really easy to get, though. You could just have an orange a day, and you probably have your allotment. Vitamin E is another good one. Great antioxidant. Great for a lot of other things. CoQ10, that's a good one. 
a lot of these I have to think are in multivitamins, but what is this one? Advanced antioxidant formula. This one's got vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, copper. Uh, it's got cartenoid mix, alpha and beta carotene, axithin, <laughs> green tea, resveratrol, pycnogenol, ginkgo biloba, milk thistle, and rosehip extract. So this is a great one overall if you just want a good uh, vitamin that contains a lot of antioxidants this is from solgar advanced antioxidant formula they're vegetable capsules and suitable for vegans so this is one i've been taking you can tell it was in my backpack for a while and uh anyway so you don't have to take them individually but you certainly can what's this vitamin d if you're big into vitamin D. Here's another good one, quercetin, cur quercetin? I don't know how to say that, which is a good antioxidant all over. Anything that's generally good for your skin is gonna be good for your body overall. So let's see, probiotics are a huge one. Juice Beauty is a probiotic mix. So Yogurt, you can eat yogurt as well. Resveratrol, that's the from the skin of grapes, which is in red wine, but I think you have to drink like five bottles a day to get a decent amount of resveratrol, but some of these contain it overall, some of them. I guess none of them do. Maybe this one did. This one did, the advanced antioxidant formula. And we've got green tea, like I mentioned, and we had another question about green tea. Lycopene, turmeric is another good one. Omega fatty acids, sea buckthorn, green algae, evening primrose oil, niacin, and the quercetin, which I'm probably mispronouncing. And we've got pycnogenol is an interesting supplement, but it's quite expensive. I bought the grapeseed extract instead. Pycnogenol, you know what, the Ordinary's got their Pycnogenol little serum, and I really like it, but that in and of itself is really expensive, and the bottle for the Ordinary is really tiny. But it can be a really good antioxidant, so. Let's see. So overall, my general, my general con consumption, my general conclusion, my general consumption, overall, Take a good multivitamin from a name brand, like Centrum or somebody like that. And then if there's anything that you want to add on to it, just buy them individually. You don't have to give Hum Nutrition or Beauty Chef all of your money because a lot of these you can buy for a quarter the price and not, and not have to spend that much money on something like this, which isn't going to last very long, so... Let's see. I heard vitamin D is important during lockdown. Vitamin D is. Vitamin D is, what is this? This is the Target generic up and up. But uh, yeah, especially if you are a woman, I think vitamin D is also important because it helps calcium work better so you have stronger bones. And if you're not outside a lot, vitamin D is also very important. And I think vitamin D also can help your mood. So people that don't get a lot of sun, it can help really help your mood and your brain in general. So vitamin D is a good one. Vitamin D is in, in a lot of them, especially if you have like a calcium supplement, vitamin D is generally in there as well. So yeah, I don't know. My favorite brand, I guess, you know at the vitamin shop, I go there a lot because they have a lot of health and beauty stuff. So vitamin shop, GNC, GNC, doesn't impress me as much, but the vitamin shop is good. And what other brands do I have? I don't know. Life Extension. Most of these brands I really, other than the vitamin shop, I like their stuff in general. And they tend to have sales. So certainly worth checking out. Thoughts on phytoceramides. Phytoceramides are great. They are... Uh, from plants, like I mentioned, rice, potato, sweet potato, cone jack, kidney beans. And if you're lacking phytoceramides or ceramides, you can notice more uh, atopic dermatitis or psoriasis, eczema, things like that. So I think ceramides are a great one to add in if you're thinking about adding in. Here we go. Although these are, 
These are phytoceramides and glycosyl ceramides. But there's a lot of research showing that they're very effective. So anything that really had research showing that it works, I add that to my list of things to check out. The rest of it, overall, you might just be better off skipping. So I think the less you take and the better you eat, the better off you're going to be. But probiotics are great for stomach and skin. They are. I love to eat yogurt. Or um, what's the yogurt I eat? It's Greek yogurt. Foggy. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. Let's see. I started taking glutathione. Ah, you know what? I'm going to have to check that one out. I have not tried that one, but I'm going to add it to my list of things to check out. I'm also going to check out the Accutane, just because that interests me. But anyway, Pycnogenol is the other one. Let's see. I've been taking Biotin for over a year now. My nails are definitely no longer brittle. My top and bottom lashes got a lot, got longer. Huh, that's interesting. You know what? Maybe you were deficient in biotin. Are you a vegan or vegetarian? Or not eat a lot of meat too? Because sometimes, sometimes I think vegans, I think if you're a vegan or vegetarian, I think a multivitamin is essential just because of the little things you might be missing out on. Even zinc, which is in a lot of meat. Overall, I think you're better off doing that, especially if you have a limited diet or if you just eat unhealthful, unhealthfully, like I do sometimes. A multivitamin's even better because I know it's impossible to really get everything you need all the time. So, anyway, another thing to check out is the links at the bottom of the very bottom. There's a couple articles that just discuss the safety regarding some of these supplements, so it's something to be aware of, especially if you use like a protein powder, things like that. There's just a big issue with heavy metals in there, so that's something to consider. And then uh, some of the, there's an article that touches on Tati's supplements with the kiwi, which some of those are just kind of a scam. So just be, ca be cautious who you spend your money with. And you really want to give some, a company that's been in existence for a while, I think you're better off going with them than some company that is kind of a fly-by-night LLC because you just don't know what you're getting. So, I don't know. I'm just, now I'm debating, should I use these? Or what am I going to do with them, you know? Because I got them all for free. I don't know, my stomach is so sensitive. So I just have a feeling if I started using these, I'd have acid reflux every night, or I'd be nauseous. I don't know. I mean, some of these look overall pretty generally good, but then again... You really don't know what you're getting until, especially if you've never heard of the company. I think I got this for free from Ulta and like a gift with purchase. Gold collagen. I mean, am I just going to sit there and drink this? I th I don't think so. The Hum stuff. The Hum probably is the biggest brand. Oh, placebo scotch. <laughs> oh, I'm, I wish I could tell them too. Dad, I wish I could say, Dad, you know what? For the last month. You haven't been drinking your normal scotch. I wish I could say that, but the second I say that, then I'm going to have to be at the liquor store. So, I don't know. I wish, maybe in like a year I'll tell them. If, if things go back to normal in a year, who knows. So, the hum stuff, the hum supplements are interesting. I mean, this one's just vitamin C, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid. That's it. And this probably would sell for probably $25. I, I just don't get some of these. I don't know. What is this one? This one's interesting package. Oh, this is the hair company. And they've got their own supplement, which has nothing, no ingredients on here anywhere. One step, 30 supplements for hair emergencies. What the heck? And it doesn't say anything about what's in them either. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to pop a few of these today and see what happens. Yeah, who knows? Maybe there's actually good drugs in there. I don't know. The Paracone. It's, it's all over the place. Multi-collagen. I don't know what the heck. This feels like a powder, too. Chicken collagen peptides. Fish collagen peptides. 
egg collagen peptides, 35 calories, contains egg, haddock, cod, and pollock. So it must be four kinds of fish. I don't know. I love how the writing on here is upside down too. Love wellness lights out. Magnesium, valerian root, passion flower, melatonin. I don't know. Do these work for anybody? I've tried melatonin to sleep and I didn't notice it did anything. For me anyway. Oh, here's the mushroom ones. Mushroom latte mix. I just can't imagine it tastes good. What else do we have? These. Crushed tonic. This, I got this from an, another crushed time. Oh my gosh, there's like a hundred of these in here. Marine collagen probiotic biotin. And you mix that with a drink, I don't know. And then of course, like all of these say, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. Just like every single one of these say on them. Here comes the sun. This one's vitamin D. Vitamin D and anything else in here? Just vitamin D3 and vitamin D2. That's it. God, that Hum brand, they have a bazillion of these. It's pretty impressive, actually. I wonder who owns them. Hum Nutrition. This one is melatonin, I'm guessing. Melatonin and vitamin B6 and calcium. I mean, you don't need to spend a bazillion dollars on these. What is this one? Flatter me. Support a flatter stomach. I should have tried these. Let's see what gives you a flatter stomach. Does it say? It says... Bromelain glucosylase, alpha something, beta gluconose, and phytase. I have a feeling that that's not going to do much. But Oh, beauty dust. That's the other big one, moon juice, which are now getting into skincare slowly. This one contains, let's see, berry, goji berry, ashwagandha, and stevia sugar so i don't really think that's going to make a big difference daily cleanse uh, you know what anytime i see the word cleanse in a supplement it should run the other way because i just think of bad things happening when i hear the word cleanse this contains zinc selenium copper and manganese all things that are in a general multivitamin talk about that one juice Probiogen. This one is the probiotics. Let's see. These ones, this is the hair brand. You can tell how that I've used none of these, but I gotta see what's in here now. There's gotta be, okay, here we go. Let's see what's really in them. Supplements, vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, folic acid, calcium, magnesium, potassium, vitamin A, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and green tea and L-cysteine, lutein, lycopene, astaxanthin, and black pepper. Basically a vitamin, a multivitamin. I wonder how much they sell these for. Basically, a lot of them are just vitamins, glorified vitamins. You guys want me to go through more of these? I can go through them all day long. <laughs> oh, Trixie Betty. Hey, from the Twin Cities. Stay safe. Yes. Thankfully, everything's starting to go back to normal. Starting to. Very slowly. Stay inside. Yes. I saw protesters in Woodbury. Really? Yeah. There are protesters in Woodbury? Three of them. Three of them? Well, there's some in Stillwater, too, so. Let's see. 
I took Accutane two different times in my life. It was the only thing that cleared up cystic acne. However, you do have to get your liver tested while taking it. Yeah, I've heard about that. Accutane. And then there's, if you're, certainly can't be pregnant and take Accutane because there's a lot of bad things that happen with that. So, let's see. They started take oh, they said N acetylcysteine is better than N glutathione supplement because it is a precursor of glutathione. Huh. That's what I'm told when I was working at a vitamin pharmacy shop. Interesting. You know, it's really overwhelming when you go into one of those vitamin stores and it's just full of stuff. It's kind of fun until you get home and and then it's like, what do you even do with them all? Because I just have a feeling so many of them can interact with things. So, anyway, what else do I have? The Dr. Brown one, to me, looks the most interesting out of all of them because it's got a lot of tea. Green tea, white tea, grapeseed. Yeah. Although I saw these at Marshall's before everything closed for like $5. So, anyway... And then, so I, I really do think it depends on what, if you have any skin issues, if you have dry skin, hyaluronic acid's great. If you have acne, try zinc. I mean, overall, I think that's kind of the gist of it. Biotin, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you're probably going to have totally different needs than what everyone else needs as well. So, yeah. Interesting. When I was acu on Accutane, my heels were so smooth. That is crazy. Wow. Childbearing women must be on birth control taking Accutane because of the causes birth defects. Oh, I can't even imagine. There have been tons of settlements awarded in conjunction with Accutane. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Let's see. I didn't experience those symptoms. I did have nosebleeds and extremely dry lips. My skin was so bad, but it was worth it for me personally. Yeah, I've heard that people can get very, very dry skin from that. So thankfully I've never needed it. Hopefully I never do, but some of the side effects of it are crazy. And then the liver thing. You don't want to mess with your liver because typically you only get one. Or I guess you only get typically. Is there anybody? I'm sure there are people that have two livers, right? No? no? Okay. Not they get a transplant. Huh. Do you think it's that? Uh, yeah, don't mess with your liver. You typically only get one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's some celebrities that have had several, though. That's a transplant. That's a transplant, but they've had more than one liver. David Crosby? Yeah. He's had like three. But I have a feeling I probably wouldn't get a liver if I needed one. one. Yeah, you were born with three. I should do a live or a video about my skincare mistakes. I've made quite a few of those. I'll have to do that one. My favorite was when uh, I traveled, this was several years ago, with Dad to Australia. And the traveling was so long, and then we got there, we missed our flight. Yada, yada, because you have to take like three different planes. And I was so tired, and I finally got a migraine. We finally made it after, I don't know, 30 hours of traveling. And I had brought with the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Moisturizer and the Water Drench Cleanser. And I smoothed that cleanser all over my face, went to bed, woke up. My skin felt a little dry, and then I looked at the bottle and realized I used the cleanser as a moisturizer. It really must be a gentle cleanser, though, because my skin was okay after that, so... Let's see. Do you like the Soy Face Cleanser? It is a good, it's a very gentle one. So if you use a lot of makeup, you're going to need to use a uh, makeup cleansing oil beforehand. But overall, it's pretty gentle. So I do like that cleanser as a gentle cleanser. But for makeup removal, you'll certainly want to use something else. But overall, it's a good cleanser. So what's the worst luxury skincare brand? That's a tough one because there's... I, there's like that gold brand that's in the malls, which are just bizarre. The gold brand, you just see them, and then they come and assault you and make you put stuff on your face. And they're like really expensive. That's a bad one. The other one is like, is it La Prairie? 
Or they've got all these like jar things, but the jars are really fancy, but they're like $400 each. That one's pretty bad. I wouldn't even say Lemur's half is bad compared to some of those. Because Lemur compared to some of their products looks cheap. Like a $200 cream versus like a $500 cream. But in a jar that has a plastic crystal on it, which looks pretty. Those are pretty bad. Although I haven't tried anything because I don't even want to spend that much money on something. Cause, just because it's got a pretty package. Oh, well, sometimes I do, but I don't go for the fake gems. If it's something like holographic, I would buy it probably, but the fake crystals, not so much. So, those are bad ones, I would say. So, yeah. Anyway, any other questions, you guys? If there's no other questions, feel free to leave a message for me if you have anything else you want to talk about. Or I can do something else for another live stream, so. Have you ever tried Chanel skincare? I hate I've tried Chanel, like, lipstick, but I don't think I've tried... You know, I have a couple of their skincare things, but I haven't ever tried them, actually. Why is Cameraman so awesome? He's so dedicated, isn't he? Why is he so awesome? It's because he uses these complete vitamins. I gotta see how big one of these are. Now they're making, oh, they're not that big, but it does look like the Centrum I used to have to take when I was little. That's identical to it. But now there are some supplements that use a uh, coating on it that tastes good, so you can swallow it easier. I can't remember what it was, but I just saw it the other day, where it uses the shell of the vitamin that tastes good, so you don't gag on it and things, so. Anyway. Okay, well, I am going to get ready to take Ike and Lincoln to Dad's house to go swimming for the day. They've earned it because they were very good, very well behaved. So, anyway, leave, uh, leave a message if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I'll do another live stream soon. And if you have any topic requests, uh, definitely leave a comment. So, this was very fun. I, it's a topic I'm very passionate about. So... Oh, one more question. What are your favorite oat skincare products? Have I tried the First Aid Beauty toner? I do. I did like that toner, but it had a weird scent because of one of the ingredients. But my favorite oat skincare products? The First Aid Beauty oat mask. I like that one. Maybe I should do an oat list. I don't think I've done that. I should do a top five oat product list and a top five uh, Sika list. I'll do that. Old list. Oh, I just got a small sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's nice, but with the fragrance, I won't use it long term. Oh, you've gotten me to be against fragrance. Oh, I like that. That makes my day. So you know, fragrance in and of itself isn't bad, but there are good fragrance ingredients. Vanilla is good. Cocoa is good. That can give things a good scent without being bad for your skin. But they never use vanilla or cocoa. They always use... Limonene and citronelle and bug spray stuff. So, anyway. Yeah. Have you heard of those sugar bears? Yeah, sugar bear hair. Their, their commercials are on all the time. And you know what? I looked at their ingredients list. I don't think I've gotten any of them. But their ingredients are this just kind of multivitamin stuff. Does one of the Kardashians own that brand or something? I feel like I heard that, but it might not be true. But, yeah, I hear their ads all the time, so. Oh, I watch your channel every day and night while I'm doing my skincare. That makes my day. You guys are so great. So. Netherlands. Netherlands, wow. Someday we'll get back to Netherlands. Maybe. So. Oh, thank you. Have fun with the pups. Stay safe. We will. So, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. So, yeah, this was very fun. So, the Minnesota goodbye goes on for five minutes. It's like my dad when I hear him on the phone. Oh, okay, love you. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you. Yep, love you. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, bye. That's what I do. So, okay, guys. Oh, eye health. What up, vitamins for eye health? This is the one I take. Occuvite. It's great. A lot of good minerals and ingredients. So, that's what I take. And I think it helps. So, okay. Signing off and going to swim with Ike and Lincoln. So I'll post pictures. So bye guys.